Presenting the Cubase Universal Tile Mount from Quick Mount PV. This versatile and ultra strong mount can easily be retrofitted onto either a curved tile or flat tile roof. In this video, we'll show you how to install the Cubase Universal Tile Mount on both types of tile roofs. Tile roofs require a little more labor to properly waterproof at both the deck underlayment level and top tile level. All Quick Mount PV tile products follow roofing best practices and guidelines listed by the Tile Roofing Institute. For more information, go to tileroofing.org. Tile roofs vary considerably, so it is important to know some basic information about the roof prior to the installation. If possible, talk to the building owner and or perform a site visit to gather information on the roofing manufacturer, the roofer of record, roof warranties, age and condition of the roof, and construction and waterproofing under the tiles. These details will help ensure that you use the best methods for attachments and waterproofing. For more information on tile mounting and waterproofing, check out this article in Solar Pro Magazine written by our Director of Training, Johan Alfson. You can download this article from the Quick Mount PV website or from solarprofessional.com. Roofs vary considerably, so to maintain the roof warranty and reduce your own liability, it's important to study the roofing manufacturer's warranty and to carefully follow the Quick Mount PV instructions that come in the box. Here are the tools you will need. A drill with a 7 32 inch bit, an impact gun with a half inch socket, two basic roofing bars, a hammer, a crayon or piece of chalk, a tape measure, a grinder with a diamond blade for cutting tile, a utility knife with straight and hook blades, and a sealant compatible with the roofing material. The Cubase Universal Tile Mount comes as a double flashing kit with all the necessary components to install 12 code compliant and waterproof tile mounting system. The kit's components consist of 12 each of the following. 9 by 9 inch spun aluminum cone primary sub flashing, 18 by 18 inch spun aluminum cone secondary top flashing, a grade 8 hex bolt, the reinforced Q base, a 6.5 inch aluminum post which yields a 7 inch standoff, post to rack hardware, an EPDM collar, and a pair of 3 inch lag bolts. We're going to install the Cubase Universal Tile Mount on a demo roof inside Quick Mount PV's Bay Area Training Facility. The first step is to mark off the locations for your mount according to your system design. If you know where your rafters generally sit, you might mark tiles to be removed in order to find the exact location of the rafters. When working on standard interlocking tiles that sit on battens, you can use a roofing bar to pry up and remove the tiles. The process is exactly the same for both interlocking curved tiles and interlocking flat tiles. By sliding a roofing bar up under the course above just to the right of your mounting area and also the course below just to the left, you can easily remove the tile. Clear the mounting location of dust and debris and locate the rafter. Wall scanners work on most tile roofs, but to ensure proper rafter embedment, it's always best to get into the attic and transfer measurement points to the roof. If your design requires that you place mounts in locations without rafters, you can install wood blocks from below for a secure attachment to the structure of the building. Mark off your rafter, then use a straight edge to measure 6 and 5 eighths inches up from the bottom edge of the tiles. Line up the Q base with a cross section, then use the base as a template to make an outline on the underlayment. Cut out the outline with a utility knife, being careful not to cut the felt in the layer below. These felt paper overlaps are typically in three foot intervals, but if there's no overlapping felt at your desired location, we'll show you alternative waterproofing methods further into this video. Again, using the mount as a template, mark two penetration points using a pencil or light drilling. Remove the mount and use a 7 32 inch drill bit to make your penetrations all the way into the rafter. 
Do not use the cue base to guide the drill bit and make sure to hold the drill square to the rafter in order to get a straight penetration. Clear away the dust and debris. The process here is exactly the same whether you're working on a flat or curved tile roof. Apply a sealant appropriate for the roofing material to the penetrations. Don't forget to place the grade 8 hex bolt upside down in the hole at the bottom of your cue base before you bolt it down. You are now ready to secure your mount using the 5 16 inch by 3 inch lag bolts provided in the kit. With a half inch socket on an impact gun, drive the lag bolts through the pilot holes and into the rafter. Apply an upside down U of sealant to the underside of the flashing around the hole. It is important to install your flashing facing in the correct direction. There's a long side and a short side to the flashing. The short side below the cone needs to be facing down the roof. As you can see, felt overlays the flashing all the way down to the cone. This is important for proper waterproofing. If the next course of felt will not reach far enough over your flashing, or if it does not reach over the flashing at all, you have a couple of options. Cutting an additional piece of felt is an easy solution. The felt should be approximately 18 inches wide and long enough to reach 2 to 4 inches up under the next layer of felt above your mount. Remove or push the tiles in the upper course to reveal the next course of felt. You may have to use your roofing bar to remove a nail or two from the batten. Don't forget to add the U of sealant to the bottom of your flashing. You can then use your roofing bar to slightly lift the batten and slide your cut piece of felt up under the next course of felt, making sure that it underlaps by 2 to 4 inches. Don't forget to hammer the nail back into the batten. Staple down the felt and cut a half circle out around the cone of the flashing. There is no harm in adding sealant to the staples and nails. If approved by the local building official, another option laid out by the Tile Roofing Institute is the three-course tar method. After laying down your deck flashing, place a layer of roofing cement around the flashing, leaving the bottom end open for drainage. Make sure to extend past the edge of the flashing by at least one to two inches. Next, lay down a course of mesh fabric strips approximately four inches wide on top of the tar, making sure that these strips overlay the edge of the flashing. Cutting all the felt strips you'll need beforehand will make the insulation go a little faster. When the tar is dried, apply one or more layers of roofing cement over the strips. This completes the three-course method. With your cue base and flashing properly installed using any of these methods, you are now ready to cut a hole in your tile. Line the tiles back up and mark or measure off where you will need to make a cut. Cut your tiles with a hole saw or grinder. Some installers prefer to do all tile cutting on the ground. In some cases you will need to cut a small piece out of two tiles, depending on where your mount has been placed. In other cases you may have to cut a hole in the center of the tile. Place your cut tiles back on the roof. When working on flat tiles, simply slide the flashing up under the upper course of tiles and line up the cone with your mount. The post can either be screwed in before or after you lay down the flashing. The grade 8 hex bolt in the cue base tightens the post to the base. Make sure the post is fully tightened. You can now remove the roofing bars and set all your tiles back into place. When working on a curved tile roof, the process is exactly the same as on a flat tile all the way up until you are ready to install your flashing. The only difference is that you will need to mold the flashing to fit the curves of your tiles. 
The flashing is dead soft aluminum that can be hand formed to the various profiles of curved tiles. You can mold the flashing using the tiles adjacent to your mount. It helps to exaggerate the bends to get the flashing to sit right when installed. In this example, we have screwed the post in before installing the molded flashing. With your flashing properly installed, you can remove the roofing bars and set all your tiles back into place. The spun cone on the flashing is a tight fit to the post to minimize water intrusion, but as an added precaution, we've included an EPDM pipe collar. To install the collar, just run a bead of sealant where the flashing meets the post and then slide your collar over the post to a snug fit. Some installers prefer to put the secondary top flashing under instead of on top of the tile. Either method is perfectly acceptable. The Cubase Universal Tile Mount is compatible with all popular racking systems. Each mount comes with a rack to mount hardware that you will use to attach your rails or rail feet to the top of the post. A 5 16 inch bonded ceiling washer keeps water out of the post. Assembling nail foot together with the rack to mount hardware is easy. First thread the split lock washer, followed by the fender washer, onto the 5 16 machine bolt. Now put the bolt and washers through the base of the L foot. To save time and reduce the chances of losing or dropping small parts from the roof, some installers prefer to do all the L foot assemblies on the ground. It's now a simple matter of bolting the L foot down to the top of the post and attaching your rail to the L foot. When you choose the Cubase Universal Tile Mount for your tile roof jobs, you'll enjoy the peace of mind of knowing that your system will be securely fastened to your roof with industry best water protection for the full 25 to 50 year life of your solar array. For more information about the Cubase Universal Tile Mount, please visit us online. Our website contains a wealth of information on all our products, including specs, drawings, engineering reports, and FAQs. You can view installation videos, sign up for our live webinars, view recorded webinars, and see our upcoming hands-on training opportunities at our on-site Solar Roofing Training Center. You can also request a sample of many of our popular products. QuickMount PV products are distributed through leading solar, electrical, and roofing distributors. See the full list on our website. Thanks for watching.